All right, YouTube, Air of Carthage back. Um, we've got a lot of rain, and I am fighting yet again another rebel army uh, that if you auto-resolve, that you'll automatically lose to, but if you fight them, then you easily destroy them. Here I'm going to form all my infantry into squares because these triple chevron dragoons are charging me. And um, while my units are in square, I'm going to um, move some of my light cavalry around the edge. Now, my light cavalry will get killed by their light infantry because they have so many chevrons and also right now um, my infantry are taking a lot of losses from having to be in square but if you get charged by those dragoons and you're not in a square then you're dead like almost instantly because they have so many chevrons but remember the, uh, the auto resolve said that these guys were going to thrash me and you can see how badly that I'm being thrashed by them oh wait are they routing? Huh. I never would have thought that. Huh. My game must be broken. <laughs> uh, anyway, I just wanted to show you me uh, whipping those rebels. I'm getting quite sick of them in this campaign. All right, so that was just a little bit of an intro there in the uh, the battle map. That was me um, whipping yet again another rebel army in this uh, same region. I think it's, I don't really know how you say it. It's like Tyrell or something like that. Anyway, um, you can see that they have 19 men remaining, and I'll bet you anything that they get to walk off with those 19 men, and they'll try and raid one of my cities. So let's see what happens. Yep, there they go. Just like I said. And for some reason, they are really targeting uh, my universities, which is a pain, because you definitely want to <coughs> do the research in this campaign. Of course, they just targeted the university that was already damaged, so that's not of gigantic concern to me. We need to finish off the remainder of these rebels before they raid one of my towns on this next turn ending. And we're going to come out here and finish them off. They have a whole 11 dragoons. I'm surprised that they didn't um, have it set up to where I was going to lose that. So we've put down another rebel uh, rebellion in... Uh, what is it? Teruel? Teruel? I don't know how to say it exactly. And there is one more... Uh, French agent in the city. Let's duel and see if we can beat him, because if we can, it'll help get rid of some of that anti-Hispanic, um, or anti-Spanish sentiment. So there we go. And finally, this region is happy, now that we've killed all the French agents. Now, some of you have been giving me a lot of advice on this campaign, um, and I did a lot of things wrong on this campaign, so let's go through those real quick. Let me correct some of the mistakes I made. One of the first mistakes I should have made, or one of the first mistakes I made was I didn't try and take any of these trading ports. There's one kind of in all um, four corners of the map. There's another one. And they get you supplies uh, that are very useful in your campaign. So in other words, money. And you need that money quite badly. And that's part of the reason why I have been suffering economically. Another thing that I did not realize um, was I wasn't paying real close attention to my research. It has been going automatically, but I should have been paying closer attention. Because when you do these research, it helps uh, get rid of the uh, the French sentiment that you get in your cities that helps cause unrest. <clears throat> and another thing I did not do is I did not use my priest and other agents to appropri appropriately um, first help reduce the, um, the anti-Spain sentiment in my cities, but also to um, cause unrest in the French cities. Let's see if I can duel yet another French provocateur here. See what happens. Duel won, but the, uh, the Frenchman was not killed which means that he'll likely go on to cause problems at one of my other cities. So let's take a look at what's left. Um, really, to gain victory in the campaign, um, France can't have more than five settlements, and you have to take this um, uh, city up here in the Midi Pyrenees, and I probably have enough men to do so, but um, there was a full-stack French army there, and I'm just training a few reinforcements that will be ready on my next turn, so that is when I will attack um, the, the French city there on the next turn. Let's see. I think that's all I need to do for now. Uh, I think I've gotten rid of the rebel armies. I think there is a rebel province. Yeah, there is a rebel province up here that we need to um, retake. And there's a small French army out here as well. So I'm trying to remember. It's been a while since I've played this. If I even have an army up in this region uh, where they are. I got a provocateur here that I should uh, go ahead and move towards that rebel city to uh, duel with the French agent there. Here's my army up here. Let's 
let's see what I have. Oops, that's not what I meant to click. Yeah, I've got a, a fair little army here, and there's no um, French agents left in this city. So I should be safe to go ahead and start marching away. And we need to take this army back here to deal with these rebel scum, as the Emperor would say. And uh, we will continue to uh, improve this city. I do have my stuff on auto build, for, so for those of you saying uh, hey, you need to build the government buildings and stuff, uh, yeah, I, I can do those on my own, but I kind of like uh, just leaving the auto build on to do it sometimes. So that's what's taking place in this campaign. But when I, I meant to tell you all, I went back, and the reason why I'm giving you some advice on how to better do this campaign is because I went back and uh, recently beat this campaign again on hard, hard settings. And I actually destroyed, I counted, 28 full-stack French armies during the course of that campaign. So for those of you who are wanting me to film it on hard, hard, that is why I didn't. Um, because, my gosh, it was intense, and it took forever, and it would have taken me forever to film it, and it was annoying, and I was about to lose my mind by the end of it. Yeah, so what was insane, though, is that the campaign starts off, France has all this land, but that's the easy part. You take it all, and then even though they have no provinces with which to support such armies, you get attacked by full-stack French armies over and over and over again. I forgot I had this army here as well, and there are no French agents in this city, so I'm actually going to train some militia to help hold this city also. So let's go ahead and end this turn. We are um, very rapidly approaching the victory conditions for this campaign. And they just recruited me a Guerrillo, which is uh, kind of like an assassin almost. I'm going to start marching him up towards uh, French territory. And I'll go ahead and send him up there on a, a sabotage mission. Okay. So I have my reinforcement troops ready here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and have them join up with my army. I just want to have as large an army as possible for um, this last fight against the French because um, they do have a lot of forces in the region. And we're also going to take my army that is positioned back here in uh, Pau, or however you say that, and march them on the city. Now the French might come out and attack me, but I'm just going to go ahead and maintain the siege until my reinforcements get there. And that way um, the French will kind of be pinned in, and so they're going to definitely be on their last leg here. So here's the dueling result against that French agent. It looks like I won the duel but did not kill him, which is unfortunate. My army is approaching the rebel city, and the French are going to come out and attack my army here. So, let's see. Looks like I just got an achievement up there, too. Yeah, the French are going to attack me. Uh, I don't know if I can win this battle or not, because of my very limited forces, but hey, uh, let's go ahead and try. We've got nothing to lose by trying. Alright, here we are <coughs> on the battle map. Uh, I have spread out my troops into a long, thin line to provide the maximum amount of firepower. I have just unlimbered my artillery. I'm going to take it off of fire at will and pick my targets, and here's a pretty juicy target. It would be the French um, general for this army. It is not a, an actual... Um, general staff, but nonetheless, if you kill them, then you're going to get um, a morale boost. So I have my 12-pounder uh, uh, targeting the general for the moment, and it, I wish it would go ahead and open fire for whatever reason that it hasn't. Let's see if we can catch those first few shots from my artillery. Th there it goes. And of course, uh, no hits. Even though his artillery or his cavalry was a wide open target there, um, I'm surprised it didn't have a hit as it bounced right through a couple of his units. But oh well. Anyway, the French have five units of artillery. Let's take a look. See, they've got um, those two 12 pounder artilleries there, and they've got a horse art. And, yeah, two six pound horse arts right there. And then uh, another 12-pounder right there. Yeah, so they have five artillery all together, so they um, very much outpower me in the artillery department. I have my cavalry uh, hidden back there in the woods. My general, of course, can't hide. So he's just going to have to uh, hope that nothing bad happens to him. It looks like I killed one horse in the enemy general's unit. So <laughs> met with very partial and limited success there. I'm going to let the French attack me since they chose to attack, and that way I can take full advantage of being able to fire the first shots and um, hopefully lure the French into my line. Now the French could easily just as well um, melee charge me and uh, they would easily be able to overpower me and their units have just as many or more experienced chevrons. 
Uh, so other than already being better units, uh, they would easily win that fight. Now I'm looking at my troops to see if I start taking a lot of artillery damage. I have not taken any artillery damage as of yet um, from the French artillery. But I mean, that'll likely change. Well, I guess I lost one man in my light infantry unit, so it's no biggie. But I do need to keep an eye on that and make sure that uh, that uh, I'm not letting my men get shot to pieces without uh, moving them and doing something about it. Now, I'm surprised I'm not getting any hits with my artillery because um, my artillery has two chevrons and ought to be more accurate than what it is. But considering that I'm trying to kill the uh, enemy's general, it doesn't surprise me that I'm not getting any hits because the uh, computer tends to make sure that it protects its own. Yeah, I'm under a lot of fire by the French artillery, but I'm, I'm suffering very few casualties. There we go. That's what I was looking for. And we even got the enemy general. See? Sometimes when you complain, you get what you want. <laughs> so that was perfect. We just um, whacked the enemy general. So he is um, no longer any threat to us. And I am going to switch over to canister shot. And tell my, um, my cannon to halt firing. And... Uh, I'm going to actually put it on fire at will and just let him fire canister at will as the French troops uh, move within range of my infantry. I'm going to move my light infantry back some because I don't want the French to be able to wheel up and fire just at my light infantry um, and my line infantry not be able to fire back. So I'm waiting to activate my cavalry and it looks like some of the cannonballs, look at this, some of the cannonballs managed to come through the woods and um, hit my cavalry so that's great. I'm taking a bunch of losses there. So I guess I got the uh, French general, but it cost me. And I am going to quickly move to outflank the French here, as they are foolishly um, not extending their lines any further than they are. So there I go, I'm going to wrap up that unit. And here they are, yeah, they're coming straight into melee, which is exactly what I didn't want. I hate it when the computer does that. Or no, they're not, they're going to stop and duke it out with me absolutely point blank. At least right there. I'm sure that they'll actually charge me in melee somewhere. Come on, artillery. Come on. Point blank right here. Canister shot. Fire, fire, fire. There we go. That was brutal. I'm sure we killed a ton of French right there. So we're about to cause a rout um, on this flank of the French with this, uh, with this unit right here. I'm going to go ahead and activate my cavalry as well. I gotta make sure and take them well out to the, the flanks here so that I don't get them caught up in this infantry fight. And I really need this unit of foot to route right here. They're hanging on. Oh, sweet. We got a chain route going here in the center, which is very good. And my artillery managed to stay intact, and that is probably part of the reason for the, uh, for the route. Now, there is now um, French cavalry incoming. Wow, I can't believe I got this. That was really fortunate. Very good. Yeah, very good that it happened this way, though. Here's some uh, Shashira Cheval. I'm going to go ahead and engage them. Uh, my troops, uh, my cavalry is probably actually going to lose that fight. Um, but it's all right if they do. I just need them to hold them off my flanks for the time being and allow me to continue uh, kind of massacring the French that are coming in here. Square, square. Yep, good. Got my men into a square just barely right there. So yeah, the French are taking a whole bunch of losses. They're not using their cavalry very well, which is good, because their cavalry is better than mine, and I don't want them to use them right. We just routed another unit of their cavalry there. Let's see if I can get this unit of French um, cav to rav route there. I kind of ran my men forward and then re-attacked to make it kind of a full surrounding effect, and it worked. So we were able to route the French cavalry there but I need to get my horses out of the way because the uh, regrouped French infantry unit is on the way in. It's just a militia unit, but I don't want them to be able to um, to fire at my men. See, here's this, uh, there's two French horse units up here, and uh, they have managed to get into my line infantry here. The French general unit somehow sat there and attacked my square but didn't die, which is convenient for them, but not so much for me but I'm causing it some pretty good damage. For being a light horse unit though, it's lasting a lot longer than it should be against the square. And uh, the French, of course, are taking advantage of that and um, attacking my, uh, my unit in square there with their infantry. So it's actually a pretty decent move by the AI. Look at that. They've been sitting here attacking a square 
their troops are firing in, and there's still 15 men in that horse unit. That's absolutely insane. I'm going to go ahead and just take them out of square. Yep, and just in time, too, they routed. I'm going to pull my line infantry back up here in front. And my cannon, of course, is um, still firing away on uh, fire at will. And it is on canister shot. Now I'm going to pull my cavalry out again, and um, we're going to go ahead and uh, take out the French artillery that's all over the field. Because I'm easily winning the line infantry for, uh, fight at this point. So routing the French general was kind of key to this strategy. You notice that their morale was very poor, even though they had better troops. And that is uh, definitely because I uh, routed their general early on in the fight. So very much like online battles, if you can uh, route the general early, it makes a huge difference. So that's kind of funny that um, the French had a full stack army, and I didn't end up even needing that huge army that I was bringing, uh, just because of the way circumstance worked out here. So there goes one French artillery unit. Get you a view of them routing off the field. And I want to make sure that we, we kill pretty much all of them, because I don't want the French to be able to use these artillery again um, whenever I go to take the city. Looks like I need to reposition my line infantry here. So there's just a couple of militia units um, left. There's some militia here in the woods, some out here in my flank. I'm going to turn back this um, this flank so that the militia will have to march forward and I can get a, a better firing position on them. Let's see, here's my cavalry going in on another artillery unit. So there goes another French uh, horse artillery unit, and like I said, I'm going to make sure that pretty much all the men in that unit are dead before I go on to the next, because I want them to be of little or no effect uh, in the uh, final battle for the city. Now, I didn't get a very good charge on this artillery unit, so it'll take it just a second longer to route. There they go. And this is uh, a very good task to use Hussars for. Hussars are great for... Um, harassing enemy troops, harassing enemy skirmishers, and of course charging uh, enemy artillery. Um, that's where you want to use Hussars. If you're wanting to take out line infantry, you definitely want to bring some heavy cav, at the very least um, dragoons, but really there's um, better, there's a lot better troops that you can bring uh, horse troops for fighting against uh, line infantry, like the uh, Spanish heavy cav. I can't remember the name of them, but they're the armored Spanish heavy cav, and they are quite good. Uh, whenever you have to engage heavy infantry. You can see um, my artillery is still firing canister shot all over the place. And that canister shot really shredded the enemy. And so I haven't used artillery much in this campaign, but I'm glad that I did use it here um, because it came in extremely handy in this fight. Canister shot is incredibly um, powerful at close range. And so you can uh, definitely use it to great effect. There is one militia unit that's sitting there in the woods firing at my men. I'm going to go ahead and just order my men to attack it and take it out. And of course my cavalry is mopping up the, the remaining enemy artillery. We'll just watch them do so. And these artillery men really don't um, have any way to fight against this. As they are ill-equipped to fight cavalry. French were trying to get this horse artillery out of there. I actually didn't kill any of them on that charge for some reason, so I'm going to pull my men back. There we go. Alright, so that is the end of all the, um, the French artillery. That's just a militia unit, so it's not really worth my time to run them down. And that is going to be the end of the battle, so I hope you enjoyed that. So the first uh, battle for the Midi Pyrenees was a victory for me.